Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun bistro burger card for you. It's bold, it's an all black background, which we don't normally do, right? But I love the way it makes the uh, burger and the flames just pop off the card. Um, the Bistro Burger Bundle is new. It's a funny little set that I was very intrigued by. I actually have uh, five projects in a series. If you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link on YouTube, go back to my blog, and check them out. This one um, actually is a part of my Facebook Friday projects, which has a free PDF, supplies, measurements, and the two other projects are there on that post. So make sure you grab that too. Okay, there's lots of little things that we're gonna do here, but I think what we'll start with is the burger. Time to celebrate. It's almost Father's Day. So this is what, this is definitely going to serve as a Father's Day card here at my house. I don't know what we're getting my husband for Father's Day. He hasn't quite decided on anything, so I don't know. I, I've gotta, gotta think about it. All right, so the bun. What color do we use for the bun? I've actually colored this burger multiple times. And let me show you, I have several here. Um, this one is ivory, we're gonna use ivory. Um, this one right here is crumb cake. And this one is one of our natural tones uh, blends, you know, all the skin tone blends. So play around with what you have, see what you like the best. I think ivory is pretty good. I'm gonna start on the edges and work in. The um, burger would be darker around the edges if you were looking at it, let's say if the light was coming from the top. So I'm gonna layer on color coming from the bottom or the outside edges in, okay? I'm definitely gonna color in this. We're gonna put a couple of layers of color here to make that just a little bit darker, all right? And you can use, if you want, your color lifter to kind of make this a little bit lighter, but I like to just layer on the color and just pull that color up each time, adding another layer of color on the bottom. All right, let's fill that in. Just do, 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 little dots there. All right, oh, we got the bottom too, but I'm gonna switch over to my uh, bullet point end and color this. Now that I'm looking at my sample, maybe this one is a natural skin tone blend too. Maybe one of those was the ivory. You know, they all work. You know, if you look at the hamburger aisle or the, the bread aisle, you're gonna find buns in all different colors, right? But I am, I definitely wanna add some shadow down here under this stuff, because it would be darker. And there along the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there like that. And let's do the meat. Um, we're gonna do pebbled path. And I'm gonna start with light pebbled path. And you've gotta be real careful when you're in here. There's a lot of drips and lettuce, curly lettuce. So be careful as you go. Make sure you're getting the right things because pebbled path is a pretty dark color and you won't be able to color over it with anything if you make a mistake. All right, so fill that in. Now our blends are awesome because they're gonna blend. You're not gonna see any streak, uh, marker streaks. I'm gonna take my dark and just go underneath these right here a little bit. See how dark that is? And down like that. And then I'm gonna come back with my light. And I'm just gonna pull that color down so it blends. All right, now let's go with the cheese, the drippy cheese. I'm guessing this is cheese, maybe it's mustard. I don't know, we'd have to ask the artist, right? There's a little bit of a drip right here too. Okay, now for the lettuce, I'm gonna use old olive and I'm gonna use light old olive to go in and watch those tomatoes. Tomatoes need to be red. And if you, when you get over here, you kind of have to really look to see um, 
what these lines are. The artist has drawn this kind of in a sketchy, you know, little little sketch lines to, to give us some sh uh, ideas for shading. Uh, so go slow and watch carefully what you're doing. All right, let's do dark real red for our tomatoes. I am not a tomato person, so these would not be on my burger. I don't like lettuce on my burger either. I like lettuce, but not hot lettuce. And when it's hot on a burger, I don't like it. So I just would have pickles, onions, mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise. What about you guys? What would you like? Maybe we need a custom, custom burger stamp set next, right? All right, now pickles. I'm gonna switch to another color so that we have some variation. And this is Granny Apple Green. We have lots of greens to choose from, so play around with what you have. And I'm gonna, oh, we've got lettuce down here too, I forgot. Come down here, add a little bit of old olive. Okay, now something I didn't mention about this card is that it's a gift card holder. So when I open it, you can see, I mean, we're gonna make a pocket for a gift card. So if you have a favorite burger spot in town, this would be a great uh, card to give with a burger gift card in it. All right, now let's, uh, we're gonna do some, this, I've already done some die cutting, so let me show you. Um, I've cut the jalapeno out of Garden Green and Real Red, the knife from um, Pecan Pie and Silver Foil. Let's glue those together and then we will, um, I, we're going to, we're going to cut out the burger and then we need to do a little bit of embossing. So, but let's get these together so that they dry just a little bit of glue. Okay. And then for the pepper, we're going to cut off the top part from the red pepper. That way it's two tone. This is called paper piecing when you uh, put different colored cardstock pieces together so that uh, they make, you know, one image, but they have a couple of different um, colors. You know what? Let's get our take your pig tool. My hands are already sticky. Let's lay it right there. Your putty end is definitely your helper here. Okay, get that lined up. We've got the banner and we've got three white flames. So we'll come back to that in a minute. If you can see the background of this card, I've cut a piece of basic black into strips, one and a half inch by three and three fourths, and I've embossed them with our new embossing folder. So let's do that. This is called, let me look at, I've got to remember the name, Dashing Designs. I do like it a lot. So you're gonna need a piece of basic black, and then this is the strip on the inside, so I'm gonna put that in there as well. And we'll bring over our cut and emboss machine. And when you're embossing these thick embossing folders, you need to take everything off and put this in here. Let's get that straightened up. We're gonna cut these apart, it doesn't really matter, and this is so narrow, but let's just do it right. All right, put your number four plate on the top and run that through. So there's the strip for the inside and here's our piece that we're gonna cut in the strips for the front. Now we're gonna die cut that burger. So we've got to bring back all of our plates and let's cut out our burger. Get it lined up, look at all your points, make sure they're all lined up perfectly. If you're worried about it slipping, you can add some post-it tape. That will hold it in place. There we go, nice and juicy burger. All right, let's cut this down to one and three fourths inch strips, or no, what did I say, one and a half. So I've got it right at the right size so that we can just cut them down. There we go. All right. Now, how about those flames? 
Let's bring this over. You might have seen me do this with the when we did the racing by stamp set a few weeks ago. I used these flames several times for that car. I thought it was perfect. We're gonna take small blending brush and Daffodil Delight, and we're gonna go all over. Okay. Just add lots and lots of color. And you want two for the front and one for inside. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over to pumpkin pie. And this time we're just gonna put ink on the tips of those flames. And you wanna kind of swirl your brush. It'll give kind of a swirly look. like that. Okay, now one more detail for these. I'm gonna take my Cajun Craze and I'm gonna flick some Cajun Craze ink on the flames. All right, aren't those so fun? I love making flames. Okay, so now you need a basic black card base and we are gonna take those strips and we're gonna put them I'm going to put one down like that, and we'll put this bottom one kind of angled down as well. And then we'll do the middle one like that. All right, now we're going to adhere our burger to one of these. This is our new Spotlight in Nature dies. And it's one of the circles that I've cut in basic black. So we'll put the burger there. And then we'll take our flames and let's use some glue on this back one. We'll put that right there. And then maybe we should use dimensionals on the front one. Let's see. Now, you know, basic or black dimensionals would be really good here. I wish I had some and I need many dimensionals for this, which I don't have either. So we will just cut a piece off the edging of our regular dimensionals. All right, I'm gonna put that like that. And I actually, I'm gonna cut the ends off so that it's not too long. Just kind of like that. Oh, I think I'm going to leave those. I like those. All right, for a jalapeno, we want the knife stuck in the middle of the jalapeno. So I'm going to take the knife edge, whoop, that's not it, the knife edge of my take your pick tool, and I'm going to stab it right in the middle. And I'm going to, I need to make this just a little bit bigger so that my knife will go right down in there. Okay, and then you just slide your knife. Slide it up. If you don't make it big enough, it'll be a little bit tricky to get in there. There we go. Okay, and we're gonna stick that, we'll adhere it like that behind so it looks like it's in the burger, okay? So let's put a little bit of glue. Stick that down there and we want it really we want that pepper to overlap a little bit all right now on our banner I need to set something on here so that it dries flat let's see if I can get that done while we finish this up for the banner we're gonna stamp time to celebrate and I would recommend stamping first and then die cutting but for the sake of the video I did it the other way all right, and let's do the inside of the card too. Um, we're gonna put a piece of basic white, right here. And then you've got this piece of, uh, the strip of either real red or cherry cobbler or designer series paper, whichever one you want. And it really, any color that goes with our burger is fine. And you're gonna put glue on three sides 
like that because we're gonna need to make a pocket. All right, let me close up this glue. And then we are going to take this and put it down here at the bottom like that. And we're gonna add the flames right here to the DSP because you need to leave it open so you can slide something in there. And then we will put our long strip across there like that. All right, so you've created a pocket there to put, let's see, like you can slide it down behind the DSP like that. All right, I've got a little bit of extra overhang here. All right, let's finish this up. Hopefully our, our knife is glued in there nice and tight. I'm gonna take my burger and we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. that and we'll put let's get a linen thread bow just a, a little skinny linen thread bow not too big we don't want to take away from our burger pull those ends snip snip and a mini glue dot And we're gonna stick that right there. All right, and then we will use the end, the edges of our dimensionals again. I need to refill my adhesive basket over here with some mini dimensionals and some black dimensionals. All right, we're gonna put that right across there. All right, now, last but not least, we have to add a little bling. I'm just gonna add a, a few neutral sequins. Any of these colors would work. And then there you go. There is your time to celebrate burger card. I hope you guys like this project. I hope you feel inspired to color your burger. Don't be intimidated by it. It's uh, fun to color. You can use Stampin' Blends. You can use watercolor pencils. You could use watercolor brush if you wanted, but have fun with it. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. Let me know if you have questions and have a great day. Bye-bye.